Hey, fishing friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to uh, talk about scroungers. I got some fish catch footage. Um, you know, this time of year, you hear a lot of people talk about dead sticking, and you know, you want baits with subtle action because you're trying to replicate um, the activity level of the forage, which they're cold, they're stiff, some are dying off. So, uh, you know, like when people drop shot fish, they dead stick a lot, which means barely moving the bait, almost leaving it still, dead sticking. Um, with the moving bait, uh, I don't know why this didn't hit me earlier, but a scrounger head is a very subtle approach. It's kind of like swim bait fishing, but uh, it's very subtle, and you know, uh, this. This is uh, one of the, this is the Finesse Fish Heads 8th ounce scrounger. As you can see, it's got that plastic bill on there. And what that causes the bait to do is there's no, none of this, no tail wag. So it rocks on this, on the swivel here. It'll, tch, 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 tch. and uh, you know, that, that, mimics the the action of the forage in this cold water really good um another this is the berkeley uh jordan lee champ minnow in blueback herring um i was using it earlier but today we didn't have the the water clarity for uh throwing scrounger heads this is a clear water technique you you need some visibility for the for this technique um but in the footage I was using the Powerbait Maxent 4 inch flat nose minnow. Um, I, was, I was using black and blue flake, but I just picked up these two. This is green pumpkin. Um, these are great. You know, uh, uh, some people will argue, well, oh, you can just throw any Zoom fluke on the back of there and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. You can do that. And I'm sure you can catch fish that way. But me personally, I like to throw baits when I'm scrounger fishing that are anatomically correct, which means instead of a zoom fluke having a tail going this way, which I don't know any fish in the wild that have tails going like that, but I know a bunch of them that have tails going like this, so I choose to throw anatomically correct um, soft plastics when I'm throwing scrounger heads. I just That's my preference, and I'm entitled to that. Uh, not that the fish are going to swim up and see a zoom fluke with the, with the tail pointed wrong and go up meow, and pearl off. No, they'll probably bite it. If it's a scrounger bite, they're going to bite it. But, you know, sometimes it's that little minutia that's the difference between getting a bite or not. And I choose to, uh, you know, try to capitalize and be as efficient as I can be on the water. Now, I heard Brent Ayler talking about this is one of those many tactics that originated in salt water and crossed over to the freshwater world. Um, which a lot of techniques especially in bass and you know other predatory uh game fish techniques they they do that they'll jump back and forth you know or originate in salt water and come to fresh or vice versa so but uh i just wanted to show you guys um the baits i use on the finesse end of scrounger fishing uh i'm gonna go with a. I just ordered on fishheadspin.com that's who, who makes the, the finesse and, and bigger scrounger heads they are having a huge sale so if this is something that you're already into or want to get into they are selling a bunch of the finesse and bigger size uh, scrounger heads and they also got regular underspins um, they got some casting jigs um, fishheadspin all one word dot com so check them out. I just scooped up probably seven 
scroungers all in different weights and styles this morning uh, for three bucks a piece and five bucks shipping sold because this is my last one so um, I, I, I've been using them as you'll see in the footage to catch walleye but my first couple catches on Thrones Crowngers were uh, smallmouth so it is a proven excuse me bass and walleye technique so uh, without anything else for me let's get into the fish catches and we'll be right back I'm throwing an eighth ounce scrounger head by fish head on on a Berkeley flat nose minnow and that didn't take long did it Sure didn't take long. That's a good one, you guys. He's got some half to him. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mr. Man. You like the old scrounger head, huh? That's a pretty walleye, you guys, huh? It's probably about a pound and a half. Very cold to the touch. Thank you, buddy. The first two tests. Lipless baits, jerk baits, clipped on the old scrounger and first cast. Just to show you what I'm working with. This is the finesse scrounger head. And I just clipped it onto a decoy X snap uh, clip that I use to clip on hard baits right through the line tie, or you can tie a loop knot. And um, that plastic bill on there lets this bait have a lot of body rock. And the reason why I like the, the flat nose minnow is because it's got an anatomical tail. Dang, dude. Man, I'm getting tagged, but they must be little or something. It's real sharp. Dunk. I go to set the hook and they're not there. Got him that time. The head shaker. I say that about all of them. I know. This kind of small. Were you the one slapping in my face? Huh? Were you the guy slapping in my face, Mr. Man? So the scrounger is the deal today. We got the water clarity for it. That's why I was throwing a jerk bait too. Take advantage of this clear water, but. They want something low and slow. Low and slow is the deal today. I highly, I know a lot of people like to throw like zoom flukes and uh, stuff like that, but I highly recommend the old Berkeley Power Bait. It's a max scent bait and it's the four inch flat nose minnow. Anatomically correct. You know, it's got the power bait gig going on, whether you think that's a gimmick or not. I'll let the fish tell me, you know what I mean? And I've caught smallmouth and walleye. Now, actually, this bait right here was rigged up in the pack, just sitting in the power bait pack like pre-rigged up because I you know I was throwing it and then I switched so uh
I'm gonna have to order me some more of those fish head uh, eighth ounce scroungers though because this is my last one. So what I'm doing is I'm casting it out, counting to about four or five, and then starting my retrieve. Guys, I'm throwing this on mono, braid to like a long leader. Like, I, have, I don't even think I've casted the connection knot yet. That's how long of a leader I got on here. All right, guys. Well, the scrounger was the deal this morning. Um, fish heads. It is a finesse eighth ounce scrounger head. Again, on the black with blue and gold flake Berkeley flat nose minnow. Uh, Power bait max scent. Um, Please uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you guys are, are into scrounger head fishing or if you think it's something that you might consider. Um, please think about sharing this episode on your social media platforms. Uh, ring that notification bell so you know when I upload a new episode. Hope everybody had a blessed and safe New Year's. It's 2021. Let's put 2020 behind us. I know it was hard on everybody, uh, including myself. And uh, we got good things to look forward to this year. Um, with that being said, I am Bass Fisher Brian, aka Walleye Sauger Toothy Critter Scrounger Head Fishing Brian. Out for now. Renew y'all's fishing licenses.